Hello, my name is Sonia, the Nutrition Healer, and today I want to take you on the nutritional journey of understanding roses. Ayurveda is a medicine of the East, and Charaka Samhita is a pretty important guy. He's written a lot of books. And he says that the seat of consciousness is in the heart, not in the brain as we tend to think in the West. According to Ayurveda, we are one of nine different body types. Um, that's various combinations of Vata, Pitta and Kapha, which are made out of the five elements. There are five different Pittas in the body, and the Pitta of the heart is called the Sadaka Pitta, which has a very special role in processing life's events and the resulting emotions. If the Sadaka Pitta is not strong, the processing will not be very good. And we end up with the dep depression, rages, anxiety and other symptoms of a weak Sadaka Pitta. So nutritional supplementation with roses helps us to enjoy life, even the little things, finish projects on time, have a strong clear memory, ability to preserve even in the face of adversity, peaceful and rejuvenative meditation, yoga asanas and sleep, ability to relax. No matter what is happening around us, quickly process negative emotions and let them go. People with a strong sadaka, pitta or sadaka agni um, are quite positive and they do have an understanding of the past even if there has been trauma. They can easily and quickly make simple decisions and have positive results. They can clearly see a situation or a person for both its positive and negative but be able to focus on the positive for decision making. And roses are really good for the digestive system too. They balance vata and pitta, body bio energies. They are um, a, a rejuvenator. They keep you uh, lo looking young for long longer. They're really good for um, skin health. And they're fantastic for the brain. They keep the brain tonified. Um, you can register information, store information, recall information more easily when the brain is uh, tonified. And they are a fantastic bridge. They create a fantastic harmony between the brain and the soul. Because the soul journey may be one thing, but the brain may be saying something else. That's when the parts of the non-physical body um, don't interact and communicate very well, then uh, we have a problem. Similarly, if the physical body doesn't interact and communicate well with one another, then we also have a problem. So for a fantastic life, we need the physical body, all the components of the physical body to communicate, and we need all the components of the non-physical body to communicate. But now it's time to go, so join me on my journey with roses. And I have a little basket here where I put them in, like this, the basket. And um, I just cut this rose petal off. Poor rose petal, are you okay with me cutting you off? Oh, sorry. You have to select the nice ones because there are some... Um, dry ones here so we don't want that we want this beautiful fresh one okay so rose petal number one okay so here are my rose petals now that i've managed to cut off and they smell absolutely amazing incredible oh my god they look pretty too unfortunately what we need next is scissors and a salad um, cleaner, a ball and the inset. So what we have to do next is the following. Um, we have to take a rose and then we have to hold it like that, pull the stem out. Can't do it with one hand now. Oh, maybe I can. And then we have the rose petals like that and then we cut the top of the rose petals off with the scissors. And then the petals go in the bowl and the white bits here at the bottom 
we have to discard them because they're bitter. So if we want to use the roses as tea or as jam, we unfortunately have to cut um, the white stem off. Okay, I'll do that now. So now I've finished and the rose petals are cleaned and I've cut the stems off. There you go. And this is um, the finished product, so it will be washed. And then once um, it's washed, I'll take it out and place it into the sieve. And then the sieve goes into the bowl and I will um, dry the rose petals in here. So these are my finished rose petals. And these are all the scraps that I've um, cut off. This is the rose water I made um, by boiling the rose petals. Do not over boil them, otherwise the water will turn brown. So um, boil them until you get a really nice rose color. That would probably be sort of 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And this is my rose petal jam in the making with the Thermomix. That worked really well. In Ayurveda we would use jaggery instead of sugar. And there is a um, very famous rose um, petal jam called Gulkand. So here is my jam and the white snow that you see around the jar is psyllium because I used it as a thickener um, instead of um, jam sugar which called, includes pectin for, for the jam to set. So I just added a bit of psyllium instead. When you add too much psyllium um, it becomes quite a, a hard mass which is also good and when I add some psyllium to this rose jam it became a really quite a mass that I could cut into pieces and, and use as a treat. Psyllium obviously has its own health benefits too and then I used some of the rose petals to make a lovely facial oil from. I infused the rose petals in the oil and there are several methods to do this. There is the put in a jar with oil and wait six weeks method and then there is the add gentle heat and wait for a day method. Okay, so I'll take my rose oil and I'll open it. Huh, okay. And then I'll take the strainer and I pour the rose oil through the strainer. And if you want to make it stronger, you can take this oil and infuse it again with the roses. So you can do that a couple of times. And then it will get stronger and stronger. Yeah, it smells of roses. Fantastic. So here it's possible to put it in a muslin cloth, the vest, and squeeze it. I've got um, this tea strainer here, which is uh, new. I haven't used it yet. I don't know whether it's uh, a good idea to ruin the new one. And then you can squeeze it through. Whoops, it's all very slippery. But you don't really have to, you can just sort of leave it and not sort of use every drop. If you want to use every drop. This oil is not cheap, especially if you buy organic oil. And here it comes. Okay. So, same again here. For this one, this I use for my face. 
so I make a little oil bottle. And these things are quite expensive when you buy them. A bottle of rose infused oil can be like, well, sometimes 20 euros. So you can make it yourself and you know exactly what ingredients you've got there. There we go. And again, a bit messy here. It's me. Oh. And lid on. Oh, here you go. Rose facial oil. I've got to label it, but I will be able to tell it apart just by the smell because it smells beautifully. Mm. And so does my hands. Mm -hmm. Nice. There we go. So that's it for me today. So you have seen the benefits of roses, how to make rose water, how to make rose jam, how to make a rose sweet and how to make rose oil. Now I want to hear from you. What is your um, experience with roses and what did you make? And if you want you can also join my Facebook group and post your pictures there. All the best for your journey with roses.